Uh, well, Pastor, uh, we've been, uh, Abilene has been uh, going, doing some tests uh, for her. Uh, she did a mammogram and some other x-ray and the, the results were not were very cloudy. Um, I went for a mammogram and uh, I had to do an ultrasound and they found multiple cysts in my breast. Do you believe that Jesus yes. Christ will do this? Yes, I do believe. I do believe. All right. That's the power of God coming on you. That's the power of God coming on you. That's the power of God coming on you. You'll feel uh, like a power going through you. That's the power of Jesus Christ. What do you feel happening, sister? There is something going through, for, uh, uh, Pastor, in my body. I feel something going through. That's the, the power of God, the power of God, power of God's removing whatever your problem is. That's power of God removing it now. Thank you, Lord. I believe you are free. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So ha- how many lesions did you have? How many lumps did you have? Um, I had uh, multiple cysts and one lump, which they were concerned one about, lesion. one lesion in my left breast and then one in my right breast. About uh, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. And how did you feel? Um, I was very scared. I was really frightened. And, um, yeah, uh, it, it was just very traumatic to just hear the, you know, the diagnosis and uh, because they were not kind of giving me any conclusive answer. I was really frightened. And um, So, yeah, Jimmy, really... how did this affect you when you heard the news about your wife? Uh, we never experienced something like this past in our life. And it was just a shake-up. Uh, we literally, um, I don't know, we just literally found it so hard to even uh, go from day to day or even from minute to minute. It was so trembling. like. And um, I contacted my uh, pastor friend, Pastor Noble. Pastor Noble's yeah. here. So he's going to come up on the other side of the screen. So you contacted Pastor Noble, your friend. So what did he say? He said, don't worry, everything's going to be okay. He said, what? Uh, <laughs> He said, what? Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Well, this pastor must have faith. He does. He does. All right. So uh, so what did you tell them, pastor? I said she, she'll be fine. I don't, uh, she'll be fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with her at all. That's what I felt in my spirit. So what, you, you told her what the Lord told you? That's right. Exactly right. We hear from the Lord. We don't want to speak from our spirits. So whose report should we believe? The Lord's report. (laughs) Amen. Amen. So uh, what did you feel happen when the Lord touched you? Um, Throughout that meeting, Pastor, I kept feeling pain in my breast. And um, I was getting scared each time I felt that. But then uh, I realized later that, you know, that was when God was, you know, healing and clearing the things um, that was not of him. Um, So that's what I believed happened during that meeting and the subsequent meeting as well. So what did you feel when you were prayed for? I felt I felt warmth. I felt a warmth over me, uh, a comfort over me. And right throughout the meeting, though, I kept feeling, uh, you know, I, I, there was a feeling going on in my breast. So God was doing it throughout that meeting. Uh, something was definitely happening throughout the meeting. So what happened uh, after the meeting? You went to the doctor. What happened? Tell us the story. Uh, yes, uh, so I had to do a couple more tests after that. I had to do an MRI uh, and an, uh, another ultrasound. And then finally this week I had to go and do uh, a biopsy on the spot that they were not uh, very happy about. And on Friday I got the results that uh, it's totally benign. Totally Denver. benign. That means no cancer. Oh, Hallelujah. <laughs> Jimmy, when your wife... Yeah, when you both heard about the the report post prayer, how did you feel, Jimmy? Oh, it was just it was just so much of peace, um, and just I couldn't stop praising the Lord, you know, for what He's done. Isn't He wonderful? Yes, He's wonderful. Abilene, who healed you? He just healed me. Amen. 
Aveline, what would you be your advice to someone who's watching right now who's got cancer? What would be your advice? Just believe that Jesus can heal you, you know, and keep claiming that by his stripes he has healed because when he died for us on the cross, he did bring healing and he did give us healing. He's already paid the price. And that's what we kept saying to ourselves as well, you know, to, uh, to keep believing and to believe that Jesus has already paid the price. We don't need to go through this because he has already paid the price for every infirmity in our body. He's already paid the price. Amen.